Hi everyone, this is Lily coming to you with another tip of the week. And this week I'm coming to you from Atlanta, Georgia. So um, I've been doing some pretty advanced tutorials in the past few weeks about rigging and, and doing the head rig in particular. And I think that one turned out really well. So if you have a chance to go through and do it, um, then I think that's a good idea. But this week I decided to just take a step back and go back to some simple concepts that apply for all of our software from Animate All Web to Harmony because there are some little things about the way that we work that can become confusing to people. And one of these little things is copying and pasting. So I thought I'd just talk to you rapidly this week about copying and pasting. So what I did to show this, I'm going to show it to you in Animate Pro, but it doesn't really matter if I show it to you in Animate or Animate Pro. Either way, it's the same thing. And I prepared some artwork here. I've got two different layers. I've got one layer that's a red layer and the other layer that I've called blue here. And each layer has a one, two, and three. And those are the contents of the drawing. So each drawing, there's a drawing named one, a drawing named two, and a drawing named three. And they're labeled one, two, and three. So if I look in my X sheet, I can see the name of each drawing also corresponds to the same one, just to make things easier for us to understand what's going on. So one of the things about copying and pasting that's important to understand is that when you, by default, when you copy and paste in your timeline, so if I just select a cell in here and I copy it, and then I paste it to a new cell, then it reuses the same drawing. When you copy and paste in the timeline, in fact, what it's doing is it's copying and pasting the exposure not the drawing. Not, it's not making a new drawing, it's reusing the same drawing. And if you ever get confused about that, then you can always look in your X sheet because the X sheet has the drawing name in it. So you can double check, oh yes, I'm using drawing one again here. And it's important to understand this because if you do something like you make a change to this drawing, so I'm putting a red X on my number one on frame 10. If I go back to frame one and check out that drawing, do you see that that drawing also now has the red X in it? And the reason is because I'm reusing the drawing. If I make a change in one frame, it's going to make a change in the other frame as well. So let me just undo that X that I added in there. I'll just delete that. So some people, they want to be able to copy and paste the drawing, but they want to make a new drawing out of it. And um, there's a few different ways of doing this. One of the ways is you can turn on Windows Toolbars Timeline View and in your time timeline tool, uh, timeline view toolbar, I like to use this one just because it has some visual buttons on it that I think are easy to use. So if you copy and paste, let's say I start by copying and I paste it here. After you paste the second copy, you can do this option to duplicate the drawing. And when you do that, it makes a copy of the drawing, but it now gives it a new number. So if I go in this one now and I add an X to it, and I go back to number one, number one is not going to have the X in it. So hopefully you guys understand a little bit now about why the duplicating and the copying is slightly different. If I go on frame number one and I duplicate it, I'm no longer going to see my original image, my original number one, because my original number one doesn't show up in my scene anywhere. I could double click on a cell here and click on one and it will show my drawing number one again. Or I could go back to the first frame and I can look at my library, because remember that library is always going to have all of your drawings in there and I can swap back to drawing number one there if I want to. Okay, so let's just um, for a moment get rid of all these extra drawings that I've done over here. So, so far I've been doing everything on this blue layer and um, now there's a second way that I want to show you how you can copy and paste a drawing and make a new one. So another way is if you actually select the artwork either in your camera view or in your drawing view, but if you select it with your select tool and then you copy it with control C or command C and then you go to a new frame and you paste, do you see that that's giving it a new number? So when you actually select the artwork in your camera or in your drawing view and you copy it, you're copying the artwork. When you select and copy in the timeline or in the exposure sheet, you're copying the exposure, not the drawing. So hopefully that makes things a bit more clear because you know now that if you want to copy the artwork, one really easy way is just to copy the artwork in the camera view and then paste it on a new frame instead of copying it down in your timeline. 
Um, now, the other thing that sometimes comes up is sometimes people want to copy from one layer to the other. So let's say if I want to copy from the blue, I want to copy these blue numbers onto the red frames. I want to create some extra red frames afterwards. If I select the blue ones, one, two, three, and then I copy and I paste it somewhere on my red layer, do you see that when I paste it, it actually pastes the red ones? And let me explain why this is. This is kind of an involved concept, but when you copy and paste, whether you're copying and pasting on the same layer or whether you're copying and pasting on a new layer, you're copying and pasting only the exposure. So when I copied from this layer, the only thing I copied was drawing one, two, and three. And when I pasted on the red layer, it pasted drawing one, two, and three. But when I paste on the red layer, it looks for drawing number one, two, and three. That's red. That's on the red layer. That already exists on the red layer. Now, if I take, you know, I had some extra drawings that I just did. Let me swap those in there. I had like a four, five, and six. <clears throat> so my four was a little X there. Sorry, I'm losing my voice here. Five. So I'll just take those two, four and five. If I copy and paste four and five onto the red layer, drawings four and five do not already exist on the red layer. In other words, there's no red version of drawings four and five. So because drawings of 4 and 5 don't already exist in the red layer, when I copy 4 and 5, it's copying the 4 and 5 from the blue layer. But it's reusing drawings 1, 2, and 3 from the red layer because those already exist in that drawing. So if you want to copy from the blue layer, let's say I'll just go with 1, 2, and 3 again. I'll copy there. there. You can copy either in the timeline or in the X sheet. If you copy those frames and then you go over, so I copied from the blue, copied from the blue layer, and I go over to the red layer, and I want to paste these as new drawings, then instead of doing a regular paste, what I'll do is I'll do a paste special. And when I do the paste special, instead of only creating drawings when they do not exist, which is what I just explained with these ones, instead of doing that, I will always create drawings. And so when you always create drawings, you see that it's doing one, two, and three, but it's giving it an underscore one so that it has a new drawing. And when I look at it, now I have the blue drawings on the red layer. So I just went through a lot of kind of in-depth concepts in a very short period of time, but I hope that helps you to understand how copying and pasting works. When you copy and paste in, in the timeline or in the exposure sheet by default, it copy and paste the exposure only. If you copy and paste from one layer to another layer, it first looks to see if those drawings already exist on the destination layer, and if they do, it reuses the exposure for those drawings. If it doesn't, it will copy those drawings in. And then, of course, if you want to copy and paste on the same layer some artwork into a new drawing, you can either copy and paste and then duplicate your drawing after you paste it, or you can simply copy the artwork using your select tool and then paste it into a new drawing. So hopefully that gives you guys some ideas of how you can work with copying and pasting. And um, there are a few other kind of short but useful and interesting concepts that I'd like to go over in the coming weeks. But that's the first one that I think is going to really help you out. So take care and I'll see you next week.